Up for review today, we have the I2C DS1307 slash AT24C32 real-time clock 4K byte EEPROM module from DX.com. Actually two I2C devices on a single module. This device sports both a Maxim integrated DS1307 real-time clock and an Atmel 32K bit, which is 4K byte EEPROM. Now the module comes already equipped with an LIR2032 rechargeable lithium battery, maintains the timer not being powered externally, and also provides a space for a Maxim integrated DS18B20 temperature sensor that can be soldered to the module. Now as is the case with a lot of small inexpensive modules from DX.com, the module shipped without any header pins soldered on. Certainly not a deal breaker, as it isn't that difficult to solder the header pins on yourself, still a minor inconvenience. My biggest complaint, however, is that the module I was shipped did not come with an LIR2032 rechargeable lithium battery, but with a standard non-rechargeable CR2032 lithium battery. Not only that, but the battery supplied was dead on arrival and wasn't even capable of maintaining the time when the module was not connected to an external power source. Now I happened to have another CR2032 lying around I was able to install in the module, but I'm still disappointed that I didn't get the rechargeable battery as advertised and that the battery I did receive was dead. Now after replacing the battery and connecting the module to my Arduino, both onboard devices worked perfectly. I was able to set the real-time clock and read and write to the EEPROM with no issues. I didn't experiment at all with the module's temperature sensing capabilities. I have neither a sensor to fasten to the board or a need for sensing temperature. Now, a link's been included in the description below if you're interested in purchasing one or would like more information. Now up next is a short video of the module in action, the real-time clock being used to set the system time and date on the Arduino, and the EEPROM being used to read and write sensor data.